Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I kind of have a little bit of a, a complicated video to go to sort of explain. I want to go ahead and explain like the new bleed in the game that was kind of introduced. They said they're changing essentially bleed and poison and etc over to ailment tags now. Um, and the new support gems came out. So some of the ones I'll be showcasing here would be like chance to bleed, maim, deadly ailments, and brutality. So one thing to note that's super, super important is bleed does not scale off the following tags that I've put in the little document up or a little text. You cannot use physical damage with attacks because bleed as a mechanic does not scale off of your, basically your hit. It scales off of your weapon damage and modifiers before the hit. Um, and that's not even explained correctly. It's kind of hard to explain it specifically, but I can show you guys. So if I were to open up my passive tree, for example, um, physical damage, which is just a generic physical damage, will work for it, no problem. Physical damage with one-handed melee weapons, the tag there would be melee weapons. Even one-handed, I don't think it would work because it's now local to that weapon, I believe, or specifically tied to that. Um, so it makes it really difficult to scale it. It kind of is like face breaker almost. You can't scale it with projectile nodes if you put on a bow with like, um, for example, anything related with bleed. You can't scale it with projectile anymore. Um, you can't scale it with um, shield nodes. Shield nodes, for example, increased melee physical damage wouldn't scale it. Uh, so you have to be sort of anal about doing this. So what I decided for this one, uh, or this character, is I'm going to go perfect agony, and I'm going to go crit multi, and I'm going to scale crit multi and convert that over with this, and we're going to use like a terminus S and see how that goes. And I'll keep you guys updated with this character as well as like my glacial cascade character here in a little bit. Um, so the way this character pretty much works is we are using Noxious Strike, which gives us 30% chance to bleed, along with a bleed support gem here, which puts us to 55% chance to bleed, which doesn't feel too smooth right now. It's okay, uh, not the best. Toxic Delivery will give us uh, bleeding you inflict on maim enemies, deals 100% more damage. So basically we'll just slap a couple times on a boss and that will immediately proc uh, the second, well, this one because of the maim, because we're also using the maim support gem. Um, because maim support gem makes it so we deal 15% more physical damage and enemies maimed take 25% increased physical, which is really good. Um, brutality is 37% more physical. Rapid, or sorry, deadly ailments is more damage with the ailment and 30% less damage with hits, which isn't really too much of an issue. Uh, rapid decay makes it so that we do 25% more damage over time. This will probably be swapped for a crit multi gem. Um, then we've got chance to bleed, which also gives flat fizz. And then we're using Sunder. Ideally, I wanted to use Cleave because if I put the Cleave gem right here, I get free Fortify. And you cannot Sunder with a sword, which is ideally what I want to do. Uh, but it doesn't feel like it has very good AoE right now, so we're going to hold off on Cleave till later, hopefully. All right, though, anyway, let me go ahead and jump in and show you guys a little bit of how it works. It's not the best feeling right now. It's okay. It's nothing too crazy. Um, my weapon is not very good. Um, I mean, it's like a item level 37, I'm 43, so it's, I guess it's okay, it's not like super bad or anything, uh, but let me go ahead and show you guys a little bit of how it works. Uh, let me put on some grace here. Okay. Uh, actually, I think I have to go this way. Also getting some pretty bad lag. I don't know, I don't know what's up with that. The beta's been like lagging like shit for me recently. I also need to incorporate like Blasphemy, um, or I can use like a Witchfire, Witchfire would be fine. Oh yeah, also if you're curious, you can actually see your your uh, bleed damage at the bottom now. They kind of incorporated that in, which is pretty nice. It's not bad. So another reason why I'm using Sunder, and I could be wrong on this, but Sunder creates like these little mini explosions, and I'm pretty sure that each mini explosion has a chance to cause bleed because of my bleed procs and stuff, which is really cool because on a white mob, I don't need to get a big, you know, like a big bleed on them. I just need to get a bleed, basically. That's it, and it's guaranteed the mob gets one shot. Like, here's a ghosted mob that was bled. It died. Um, now, of course, this is with a six link, but I mean, leveling with a tabula is pretty common these days, so I'm not really too concerned by it. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, I want to see how it scales with crit. Terminus S will give me a lot more attack speed, which I think is one of the things I really need. 
Uh, I know a lot of people are going to ask about, uh, what is it, Decay that a bunch of people are using. I'm pretty much primarily trying to focus on this character with Bleed and not Poison. Poison is inherently going to be there because I am playing an Assassin and I may use like a Void Heart. But Decay is retardedly broken right now and I don't really want to showcase this character with Decay because it's obviously going to get nerfed. Um, for those of you guys who don't know what the Decay support gem is, it should be this one right here. Nope, oh, not that way. But yeah, I mean, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it was a rough start at the beginning, but it felt a lot better as I leveled up a little bit. So, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how everything plays out. I'm pretty pretty excited, actually, to see, because I haven't, I haven't really played... A, I played a bleed character once a long time ago, uh, and that was an assassin as well. So, I'm just curious overall. I think um, I've never really, like... I don't know, I've never played a melee bleed build before. That's like 100% new to me, which is pretty cool. Let's keep going. Let's see what we got here. What do we have? Oh. I don't know why this beta is so laggy for me, though. Like, my goodness. What's, like, what's my FPS? 30? Why, GGG? <laughs> Why do I have a 30 FPS, bro? What's going on, man? Alright, we're gonna YOLO the strong box, boys. This is the ending of the video. Don't freeze me, bro. Okay, good. Anyway, though, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of, like, a sneak peek of what, what I'm doing with this bleed character and some of the new bleed stuff. So, if you like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.